Hello, radiographers. Hope you are doing good. MRI cervical spine is the one of the most common MRIs that doctor advises. So today I'm going to show you the planning and filming of the MRI cervical spine. So let's start the MRI. So first from the patient, register the patient and enter the name of the patient and then the patient ID and then the patient sex and then the age and the height and weight of the patient is very important for the machine. And then the referring physician and it is not compulsory the only bold letters are mandatory to entry. And then patient position is head for supine. And then exam and from the protocol list, select the C-spine and MMCS and then C-spine uh, WS for whole spine. But because I will only do the cervical spine, so I will not select the cervical spine, whole spine. I will select the only routine and from the routine folder and I will take the only cervical spine protocols and there is five protocols the one is localizer and and the other two is sagittal and another two is axial so I will take these protocols to the exam and now the scan has started the hash localizer is preparing for scan and the receiver coils are adjusting and preparing and the scanning is running and look at the corner bottom corner bottom left corner that what's going on the scanner and the localizer image have come the first one is the sagittal and, and the other two is the coronal so first adjust the saturation band and the parallel to the cervical spine and the saturation band is for the reduce the artifact of, from the respiration or any other movement and plant the sagittal slices by, parallel to the spinal cord and there is 13 slices and the slice thickness is 3 so I am applying this planning and the T2 sagittal planning have complete and the T1 sagittal is also complete. So here look at the, the T1 sagittal, uh, beside the T1 sagittal there is a sign that, that indicates the copy 2. That means when you plan the number 2 protocol and this protocol will copy the planning of the number two protocol. So as I plan the T1, T2 sagittal protocol and click apply, then the T1 sagittal copied the plan from the T2 sagittal. So that means the signal. So this sign means this, that this protocol will copy the number two protocol. So you can see that here is another sign, copy four. That means that this protocol will copy the number four protocol. I'm waiting for the T2 sagittal image because I have to plan the axial protocols on the T2 sagittal image. So from the patient browser, uh, I will uh, refresh and when the sagittal scan complete, it will show on the browser and viewing window. So from the beam window, uh, the T2 sagittal image appears and I am checking the image. And now I have to plan the T2 star. This is the T2 star axial. So I will plan this T2 axial on the T2 sagittal image. For this, first I have to adjust the saturation 
band in front of the cervical spine. I have changing the viewing window at spine mode so that the segment is become large so that I can uh, enlarge the image for better planning. The first slice I planning on the cervical medullary junction. There is only one slice I have to plan in this area and just above the uh, cervical one. And here I plan the three slices. I plan three slices on the C2 and C3 intervertebral discs. So this is the cervical two body. And this is the C3 and then C4 and the C5, C6 and C7. So I'm, I'm giving three slices on each intervertebral disc of the cervical spine. So thus I, go, I get 19 slices. And with the 19 slices uh, and adding the reference image, I will total get 20 images to print. So adjust the slices just parallel to the intervertebral discs. And then select series, then deselect all, and the part, part perpendicular to parallel the slices on the coronal image. So after the planning, click the apply button. And you see that the oil, the T2 axial has applied and then T1 axial has taken this planning from the T2 axial. Or the T1 axial copy the planning from the T2 axial. So now I will print the T2 sagittal image. For this, I have to select the series. And from the tool box, I'll select shutter and give the shutter or crop the images. And after cropping, I will send these images to the filming by clicking the copy to film sheet. And now I am going to filming window and selecting the whole film. There is uh, 13 images. I am selecting the whole film and selecting the layout. And from the layout, I will select the Milo because uh, in our software, the Milo is for the cervical spine because there is one, one large segment uh, to enlarge a give to give a large image of the mid cervical. So I'm selecting the mid image of the cervical spine where the cervical cord is full shown, and there is two extra images that I have to delete. Otherwise, the two film will print. So I will delete the last and first images and now there is the only one image. And now I'm selecting the uh, rest of the images and adjusting the zoom pan and window. As I wish, I am setting the contrast. And after this, I will print out the pin. And now I'm going, from the exam, I will check the protocol that the T2, T2 axial is scanning, but this is a black line that the protocol is scanning. So I get the T1 sagittal images also. So like the T2 sagittal, I selecting the series and from the tools i am selecting shutter to crop the images and after cropping i will sending to the filming by clicking copy to film sheet and then go to filming and there is 13 images select the whole film and from the layout select the milo you can select uh, another from your software but it looks good. And select the middle image of the cervical so that the spinal cord is shown here good. 
and there is two extra images. So I have to delete the first one and the last one so that there is only one pin remaining. And select the rest of the images and zoom in and pan so that it fits the segments and adjusting the window and contrast and check all the images that everything is look smooth and same. So I take time adjusting the windows and after it, I print out the images. So you can now check the printing status from the expose film tax status that how many films have been printed that I have printed two images of the patient Lokman Ali. They are two sagittal images. So now I have to print the two axial images. T2. The T2 axial images has complete and now from the patient browser or in the viewing, I am taking it to the viewing by dragging it to the viewing window and I look at that this uh, image this t2 star uh, axial image quality is poor because the patient has moved during the scan and take the deep breaths so i have selected the series and send it to the filming and in the filming now i am Pop out the reference image of the these axial plants and cropping the reference image of the axial slices and sending to the film sheet. And now in the filming, I am selecting the whole film and adjusting the zoom of the images, axial images. And now I am adjusting the reference image. Okay, now what I did that there is a reference image in the reference image. So no need to, to keep this reference image. So to remove this reference image, I have to select this segment, the right click the segment from the properties. I just tick out the reference image. But I have to keep the reference image for the actual images and then print out. And then now one T1 actual image remain to be printed. And there the scanning is running and nine seconds remaining. I'm waiting for the scan to be completed. And the scan has complete. So all the scan has complete. I am now I will close the patient because all the scan for the cervical spine has complete. Now I am closing the patient from the exam. And now I I'm going to the patient browser or in the viewing window, I can also view the T1 actual images. And now I'm selecting this series and sending it to the filming. And the reference image, I also have to send to filming. And now in filming, there is 19 extra slices and one reference image, total 20 images. So my layout is four into five, that is 20. So I am adjusting the zoom pan of the images and also adjusting the reference image. And I will remove the reference image of the reference image. And by selecting the series, I'm adjusting the window. And after the adjusting is complete, I will print out the film. And I can also recheck the film status that 
from the film tax status then i will check the printer and from the printer i will show that the lokman ali fourth film has printed thanks for watching this video if you like the video please uh, share this with your friends and follow my facebook page and if you on youtube please subscribe my channel thank you